Hi all, and thanks for tuning in to another episode of Eating Out in Vegas. This video is featuring a place that we went to called Amore Taste of Chicago. It's located at 3945 South Durango Drive in Las Vegas, 89147, and it's considered the Spring Valley area. Currently, they only have one open location. They are getting ready to open a second location, I am told, sometime in March. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to bring you guys a, another collab um, for possibly their grand opening or maybe a soft grand opening, depending on, um, you know, if I'm able to get in touch with somebody at the time to see if they want me to even cover it for them. They are currently open seven days a week from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. with the last seating being at 9.30 p.m. There's tons of information to provide you with these guys. They have a lot of different specials. You'll see some on the menu where they have lunch special Monday through Friday from 11 to 3 p.m. for $8.95. They have a Monday special where you get free eight piece wings with a large or extra large pizza, which of course we were there on a Monday, so we were able to get those free wings and they are fantastic. And they've got a really good ranch that they serve with them too. On Tuesdays, they have a $4 sangria dine in with the entree or pizza purchase and if you go on their website which is amoretasteofchicago.com I think it needs a little tweaking because it says on there that they don't serve alcohol on premise but there's um, sandwich boards I believe is what they're called that show their specials and they you know of course i just mentioned they've got four dollar sangrias there's a special listed on the boards that talks about a ten dollar bottle of wine and then they also have beer so just to keep that in mind um wednesdays they have a rib special which you can see on their website as well 13.95 and I'm going to have to try and make it there on a Wednesday because on their gallery, it looks amazing. The, the size of the slab, the fries that they serve with it, the presentation is just really good. So, you know, aside from the pictures that I show you of the stuff that we had, you may want to go ahead and go on their website and take a look at their gallery because they've got tons of stuff posted on there. They do delivery, they have catering available, um, they have catering. They're able to accommodate large groups. Their seating area is massive. Uh, within the pictures, I was trying not to get too many of the uh, patrons. So some of the pictures are kind of above their head, but I, I tried to get you um, some idea of what the size of the place is. They, um, you can order online. They also work with Grubhub and I saw when I googled it, I saw that there's a Grubhub for $12 off of the first order for um, Amore. So now to start with our um, stuff. You already saw the wings that we got. We also ordered the appetizer, uh, an appetizer, and we got bruschetta. There's three pieces, $6.95. At the recommendation of our waitress, I ended up having the Italian beef sandwich with hot peppers, and it came with au jus. This au jus was not just your typical au jus. It wasn't just the juice, the beef, you know, type broth stuff this was seasoned so so good i i was it was one of those wow moments because i was just expecting regular au jus but then it was like it hit my taste buds i'm like oh 
wow, the, it was seasoned and I wasn't expecting it. Um, the main reason why we went here, I mean, aside from seeing it every day and passing by it and waiting for the one on sunset to open up, um, I had never had Chicago pizza before. So that was kind of our main reason for going there. Uh, my girl, Lisa, had, when I mentioned about Chicago style pizza, she, you know, she lived there and she just raved about how good Chicago style pizza is. So I felt I had to try it. And so we did, we ordered a pepperoni, uh, deep dish pizza. And I think this is kind of my new favorite pizza. I don't know that I would want it all the time only, only because one slice just fills you up. So, I mean, definitely we could have ordered a smaller pizza and it would have done just fine. Um, I mean, I don't even know how to articulate the experience when when I ate it and and again this this is this is me not having it before I mean I've, I've never claimed to be a pizza connoisseur or anything like that I mean I love my pizza it's one of my favorite foods but it was like I wasn't sure was it the crust was it the sauce was it the cheese I couldn't tell what it was that intrigued me so I'm actually tearing this thing apart and I'm trying just the crust and I'm trying just you know something with the sauce on it and I'm trying the, the pepperoni and yeah I you know and I still couldn't really figure it out it, maybe it's just a combination of all of it together, but it just, it had a really, really good, good flavor to it. So now I need help from you guys because I'm not being real successful in finding another place that serves Chicago style pizza because most of the ones that we've looked up and then tried to contact are closed. So if anybody knows of any good Chicago style pizza places here in town, let me know, put them down in the comments below because I want to try another Chicago style pizza so that I can compare it with this place. Um, so let's see what else we, my husband had a meatball sub and it had marinara and he put the hot peppers on it as well. He said it was really good. The meatballs were nice, compact. They didn't fall apart when you bit into them, but they weren't rocks either. They were perfectly put together. Then my daughter had a grilled Polish sausage with grilled onions and mustard, and she had the crinkle cut fries with it. And when I saw that come out, it looked pretty darn good so I, I even asked if she wanted to trade if she wanted mine instead and she said nope she that's what she wanted so um and she liked it as well like I said we, we ended up I think all of us with the exception of my husband I think my daughter and I both ended up taking home half of the main dish that we ordered and then of course we we took home all but three pieces of, of the pizza because we were so full after eating the one piece of pizza that we weren't able to eat, you know, the rest of the stuff. And we were just absolutely stuffed. So I apologize. We didn't do any dessert, but I now have a plan of action for the next time that I go that it'll be done in such a way that I'll, I'll be able to feature some desserts afterwards but I highly recommend this place it was so good the atmosphere was um, good I mean it was it was busy it the decorations were nice it was all Chicago sports and movie star related and um, 
the waitresses were fantastic, very, very friendly, very on top of everything. The drinks never got emptied. They, um, very helpful. And when it came to packaging our stuff up, something that you don't see too much anymore is them actually take it and package it for you versus them just throwing the boxes on your table and expecting you to take care of it yourself. The girls did it for us, so I thought that was a good touch as well. And, you know, I think I'm going to have to try to go on a Tuesday as well, just so that I can try some of those sangrias, because if you see in the picture, it shows there's um, like a peach one, and, you know, so I definitely think I want to give that a try, especially with the one that's closer to us when they open. So, um, again, highly recommended. I hope you guys go check it out. If you do, drop me a line. Let me know that you went and what you thought of it. And, um, you know, I appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for subscribing and watching my videos each week. And um, I'm working on trying to make sure that I, I keep up and, you know, get it out to you every single Monday at least or Sunday night, whichever, you know, I can fit into the schedule and um, please don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and please share with your friends and family and get them to subscribe too. I'd really like to get up to a hundred subscriptions because once I do I would like to do a giveaway and I'm hoping maybe I'll do a golden knight's wreath or maybe a raider's wreath or something closely related. If you guys got any ideas, let me know. Um, maybe next week I'll um, put together some pictures and then you guys can vote on them, see which ones you want. And yeah, so thanks again, guys, and you have a great week.